When we, when we do these albums, I mean, and especially if it's me and 40, it's never not been me and 40, but when we and 40 lock in, we really lock in and yeah. we take it very serious. And it's not it's not some like rush job, you know, we, we will sit there and, and we, like I said, some nights we don't even come here and make music. Some nights we just talk. Yeah. We talk and we listen and, you know, we try and figure out what, what the direction is and what, what works for me. Like, what 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 is a cohesive incredible listening experience from me what can i do for this generation to just take create distance between myself and, and anyone else and do something that you know maybe none, no one else can really achieve or accomplish and and for me i had speakers set up in my bedroom this time in my apartment and it was all about me coming home being able to plug into my phone and like, do I want to listen to myself or do I want to listen to like some other songs that I'm into? And if I didn't want to listen to myself, then there was a problem there, you know, because I really, I wanted to be excited about the music that we were creating. And I, I was very, very hard on myself. I scrapped full songs just to take out one thought. Yeah. I wasn't like, I wasn't patting myself on the back every time I got something done. And as an artist, you know, sometimes you can be working so hard in here that just to get something done feels nice. Then you got to wake up and realize like, was it actually good or yeah, did we yeah. just finally get something done? Yeah. And I think this time I, I really, I really didn't take any pride in getting something done unless it was something, mm. you know? Mm. My mom's thing is a 72 hour rule. I mean, um, my mom, it happened years and years and years ago when, you know, the first time I ever had like a, it was like just when the culture, the internet, like blog gossip culture was happening and they had like edited some picture of me and my cousin or something. And I was like, oh, this is it. Like, oh man, everyone's going to believe this. Look at the edit. It's like crazy, like some crazy, I forget what it even was. Mm -hmm. But my mom said to me, she said, you know what? She said, you'll go to sleep tonight, you'll wake up and it'll still bother you, then you'll go to sleep again and you'll wake up and it'll bother you a little less. And then on the third day, you'll wake up and someone else will have done something stupid enough that everyone will forget. <laughs> it's totally true. And so I've learned to control my emotions for yeah. those first two or three days. And that's why I don't run to social media and start, you know, yeah. yapping about how I, my, my anger or my frustration, I let it sit. Yeah. And it, it always goes away, man. That's, that's my best quality is I'm always okay with the first two or three days. <laughs> Across the board on anything, not just yeah. dancing, like anything, you know, yeah. any, whatever it is, I'm always okay. I'm always okay in the first two or three days. But on man. day four? I mean, it's just either it goes away or like, or it takes on a life of its own. Yeah. And I'm, I'm good with it either way. Go up there and have fun. And like, yo, if you just be yourself and, um, you know, enjoy the moment and like, I, I, it's just that natural, you know, when you're in that, when you catch that stride and it's natural and you're not, you're not overthinking it, you're just doing what you want to hear, what what you feel, you know, that's, that's what you that's what people are connecting to. But you know, that's, that's kind of almost an emotion that I search for. I mean, I don't want you to get it right away. If you yeah. get it right away, there's something, there's no risk being taken. There's something that's not. It's almost disingenuous. It's not, it's just more like it, if you, if you're able to like wrap your head around it and be like, okay, cool. I get it. It is what it is. Good song. It, yeah. That's not, that's not what like great music is. Great music takes a little, takes a little work on your part. You know, it takes you almost maybe elevating your listening level and becoming, you know, a, a, a bit more of a sophisticated listener because of a song or because of an album. It's just about realizing that the details and the little things about your upbringing or your culture are actually extremely appealing to the world as long as you present them with confidence. And I've just always, I've always just felt like an outsider naturally, you know? And I think that just has to do with like the better you do at music, the more you're gonna feel like an outsider. It doesn't matter, I could be from Australia, you know? I could be from anywhere. It's just when you start doing well, they'll, they'll people that make you feel like an outsider, I mean. Mm. You could be you could be an insider and they'll make you feel like an outsider. Yeah, I, I encourage uh, anybody, wherever they're from, but obviously we're talking directly about where I'm from. Mm. So I encourage anybody to go out there and uh, do the most damage that you possibly can. Do your thing. Get all reap. Get all the fruits. All get get everything. You know, become the biggest artist you can possibly be. Just don't get up there finally and start talking down on me.
you know? It's like, I just always, I wanna, I wanna be good and positive with everyone in the city, but I, I obviously I expect the same thing, you know? Yeah. And that's, that's it. I just like, like I said, I love seeing people shine. I just, like, you have to be able to separate your real life and this. I'm very proud of my real life and the character judgment that I've used throughout mm -hmm. the years mm -hmm. that I've spent on this earth. Nobody really that I've ever considered a true friend has switched up. But these like, you know, these fly by night people that you just come across, I mean, you, you, they're, they're, all, they're all not to be trusted. They're all, I don't trust none of them. You know, it's like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not naive. I'm not out here being like, yo, we're all, it's all, it's not buddy, buddy, man. This is war, man. You know, just like anything else, it's like sports, just like whatever it is. If you're in accounting, I treat this shit, this is, we're playing for keeps, bro. Mm. <laughs> mm. You know, I'm not here, I'm not here to like, it's not a joke thing to me, you know? So, I mean, yeah, I've seen people I would never expect. People I've had the utmost respect for do foul shit, you know? Try and, if, if they could have their way, I'd be, I'd be on a, I'd be on the street corner with me and all these guys in this room and my family, and we'd be, we never to be heard from again, you know, if they had their way. But like I said, I'm not I'm ready for whatever. It's a shame if you don't notice the shift in energy around you. I mean, you can't be oblivious to what's going on around you. And I just, I just like kind of woke up one day like, yo, this is my, this is my time. This is my like, I like this is my thing. I run this, you know, like. Nobody could really talk to me. I'm, I'm good at what I do and, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm ready for anything really, you know, and whatever it is, whether it's a one dance or whether it's know yourself or whether it's energy or whether it's whatever, I'm ready. I'll shell out anybody, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, there was just a point where I was just like, yo, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm ready to take on anything. And that was, you know, I think that was, it was that moment. Yeah, that was just that moment. I was, I was proud of all we had accomplished. Um, and yeah, I just made that switch. Like, yo, it's my time for the next however long till, till I decide it's not, you know? Till I decide to stop coming in here and working this hard. Cause you know, I just, I just feel like that's, that's where we're at. And it's not even like, it's, it's, it's more, I say that more to like encourage, like even, even when we're talking about the playoffs or talk, it's like, yo, sometimes you have to realize like, yo, this is it. It's happening now, you know? And, and this, this moment decides the longevity of this whole thing, so. You know, some, some mornings you gotta wake up and be like, yo, this is my thing, not anyone else's. No one can talk to me. Just bringing joy to people is pretty much my goal with yeah. this. And, um, you know, whatever way I can contribute to, just like I said, bringing, bringing some joy to people's lives in this world, I, I, I pray that I can do that as many times as I can over and over uh, through this platform that we have. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just, it's, that's what we got, man. You know, that's what we have to offer right there. So.